Hey guys, this is a video about a 12 volts DC stepper motor right here and the control circuit that I built on a breadboard here. My power supply is this adapter. It supplies 12 volts DC at 100 milliamps or 0.1 amps. And here are the LEDs showing the cycles of the steps of the motor. Here are four 4403 transistors and here are the four 68 kilo ohm resistors for the LEDs. Oh, and by the way, these five LEDs here and these resistors are not necessary for the circuit. I just have them for indicator purposes so you can see what is going on in the circuit. Here is the 4017 binary counter. It is a counter that takes a signal and turns that into a series of outputs. And here is the 555 timer which is creating the series of pulses. And here is a 220 microfarad capacitor and this is a potentiometer both used for timing with the 555 timer and here is a stepper motor that I actually got out of a very old floppy disk drive and it is a 12 volts DC stepper motor and I figured out that to go all the way around it takes 200 steps so each step is 1.8 degrees which is very precise and as you can see by the ribbon cable here there are five wires one is common which is the white wire and it is common at 12 volts DC and then the remaining four wires are the control wires which are active ground. Now you do not power the pins in order from left to right. They are in a different order which I figured out. Okay, this here is the circuit I just showed you. Now I am going to plug it in. There. See, it is spinning around and the LEDs are showing the pattern on the pins in order. It is going so fast it is hard to see them actually switching. But if I take this screwdriver and turn down the speed you can actually see it moving. See? It's going across. And respectively, the motor is turning. This light here is a power on light, lighting only when there is power to the circuit.
See, you can speed it up by turning the potentiometer up. Alright, now I'm going to take my multimeter here and I'm going to take some readings here. So I'm going to turn it to DC current, move the connector in the right spot, and turn it on. Alright, now, a quick thing about an uh, ammeter, which measures amps, or current. You put the ammeter in series with the circuit or components that you want that you want to measure. All right, so I'm first going to unplug it, and now I am going to put the probes here. I'm going to put it in this other strip here. And now, you must make sure that you have the polarity of the meter be the same polarity as the power supply. Alright, so I am going to plug it in. And now, when I put this here and this here, it says the current is 0.28 amps. Alright, so now I know the current. So now I'm going to see how much voltage is actually passing through the circuit. So, I'm going to set it to the 20 volt range and move it to the correct voltage port. And now, a quick thing about voltmeters. You always measure voltage in parallel with the component or components or circuit that you are measuring and if you do not know what the voltage about what the voltage will be on at least a lot of meters then set to the highest and then go down not to the lowest because you could end up burning something out but in this case I know it's probably not going to be higher than 20 so now, I'm going to move this to here, because remember, it has to be in parallel. So I attach this to here, and this to here. Okay, it is actually 9 point, about 9.4 volts. Okay, so this load is making it go down below 12 volts. But that also makes sense because the adapter obviously can only supply about 12 volts at 0.1 amps, but it's supplying 0.28 amps and 9.4 volts. So now we know. All right, so. I'll show the circuit diagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.